Here are some tips for how you can avoid a multi-car pileup and what to do if you actually find yourself in the middle of one. The best thing you can do is avoid a pileup in the first place, particularly if you plan to travel in fog, freezing rain, or snow. First, and this is an obvious one, slow down. According to one University of Pennsylvania study, it can take a motorist driving at 60 miles per hour 132 feet to recognize a danger and another 172 feet for the car to actually stop. And that's under the best of circumstances. That also means don't tailgate. Make sure your vehicle is in good working condition. That includes brakes, tires, headlights, taillights, signal lights, and windshield wipers. Keep your mirrors and windows clean because in order to avoid a hazard, you actually have to be able to see it. Avoid changing lanes, crossing traffic, or passing in low visibility conditions. Avoid using cruise control. Tapping your foot on the brake could cause your tires to lose traction. Use your fog lights if you have them, or low beams. High beams tend to bounce back light off of snow and rain and other particles in the air. If visibility is near zero, for example during a whiteout, get off the road if at all possible. And if you can, find a safe place to park. So what do you do if you're in the middle of a pileup? The same rules of any other accident apply. If you can safely navigate your vehicle off the roadway, you should try to do that first. If it's safe to do so, you should remain with your vehicle until help arrives. Use your emergency flashers and run your motor sparingly, leaving a window open for ventilation. Should you stay in your vehicle and wait for the authorities and risk getting plowed into by other motorists? A vehicle's metal frame is better equipped to absorb the impact than a human body, but insurance companies and federal agencies don't have any hard and fast rules. If you do decide to stay in your vehicle, make sure to wear your seatbelt. 